Good morning traders, Richard here doing a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market review of Bitcoin. Uh, let's just take a big picture perspective quickly looking at the daily. Uh, we had a sell signal back here in November. Back above the top in the cloud there was a sell signal. Bitcoin then tried to rebound from the bottom end cloud chart. They did manage to rebound very shortly but then ran into top end cloud chart resistance and then sliced to the bottom end of the cloud and that was the second and final sell signal when the outlook changed from bullish to bearish. Price action below the cloud is bearish and as long as price action is below this cloud the long term holders should probably st steer clear of Bitcoin. The shorter term swing trade opportunities uh, exist on the four hour and hourly from the more shorter term type trades. Now if we can see on the daily just recap what's been happening we did manage to rebound from these old cloud chart support levels there were a couple of nice swing trades there as well as this rebound from this bottom in cloud chart support level there was a quick rebound there and now Bitcoin did manage to find support at the 33,000 35,000 zone and that comes from this cluster of cloud chart support level the August 2020 cloud chart support lows as well as this low year so that cluster of support did manage to, the support held and Bitcoin did manage to rebound from that level and there was a fantastic swing trade when it rebounded from these levels back up to the bottom end of the cloud now it's ran into trouble once again as it's digging into cloud chart resistance we really need to see Bitcoin break past this cloud chart level to trade back above the top end of the cloud that will change the outlook from bearish to bullish so there are shorter term swing trade opportunities for the more adventurous and risk taking uh, traders uh, we've got a cloud chart buy signal at the bottom end of the cloud which is generally a weak signal but you can act on them from an Ichimoku cloud chart perspective. So now the catalyst we're looking for is a breakout past this uh, bottom in cloud chart resistance zone. Key levels to watch out for in, on the daily is this uh, turning line, standard line of the cloud. That's a key support level and that coincides well with this cloud chart support level there of 39,400 as well as the bottom end of the cloud yet 38,000 so these are the key support levels to watch out for uh, while Bitcoin is trying to break through this resistance zone if it can get past this line here yeah, this 42 uh, 527 zone of, sorry it's 42 210 that's a critical resistance zone. It needs to break past that and stay above that level for a couple of days. Will signal that that support line, which is the resistance, will now act as a key support zone. So we really need to see Bitcoin to break past that key level on the daily cloud to change the outlook from bearish to bullish. Now on the four hour Ichimoku cloud. We can see we had a fantastic cloud chart cross signal here. There was a couple of trading opportunities as it broke past the, the top end cloud chart resistance, then rebounded to rebound closely from this bottom end cloud chart support zone. But that the outlook changed from bearish to bullish on the four hour as soon as we crossed this cloud chart level there. And there were pr plenty of trading opportunities as well as this cloud chart rebound here at the bottom end, the top end of the cloud. So, so far so good. That rally worked out well only to run into trouble at the resistance of the 45.11 and 44.227 and these resistance zones comes from this old cloud chart resistance zone as well as the top end cloud chart. There's another key resistance zone to keep in mind is this top end level there. So those are the upside resistance targets. In the current rally now critical Bitcoin needs to stay above this bottom end cloud chart support zone for the four hour bullish outlook to remain in place. If Bitcoin closes and trades below this bottom end cloud chart level then the outlook is going to change from bullish to bearish on the four hour chart so be aware of that. There are swing trade opportunities as Bitcoin can rebound from this bottom cloud chart support zone. So that can be an area to add more to a Bitcoin position based on the four hour Ichimoku cloud. Now the hourly chart, let's take a look there, still struggling to get past this cloud chart resistance. Uh, we need to see a breakout back above this bottom end and top end cloud chart resistance zone for the hourly to resume a uptrend. But so far hourly still bearish. We really need to see a nice cloud chart cross something like this on the hourly to be back bullish on the hourly to take our swing trade signals off the hourly cloud chart. But so far we really need to see a breakout past this resistance. So far this 
bottom in cloud chart resistance seems to be holding. And if Bitcoin can get past this level here yeah, of 42.29, stay above that level, then the outlook on the hourly will change back to uh, bullish from bearish. But so far, four hours still looking okay. Watch out for potential rebound from this bottom in cloud chart support levels. The daily, we're not out the woods there yet. We need to see a breakout past this top end cloud chart resistance zone. And the weekly, let's take a look at the weekly. You can see where the bottom end cloud chart support zone came into play, as well as these lows here, all Q2 of 2021 with support zones on the weekly. So we're back above the bottom end of the cloud on the weekly, which is positive, but navigating the resistance on the weekly Ichimoku cloud from a uh, you know weekly Ichimoku cloud chart perspective but so far we've got these two catalysts to watch out for on the daily and the four hour we need to see that breakout past these resistance zones if the breakout fails then we might retest the uh, standard line of the cloud as well as the bottom end of the front cloud chart level there to see if that uh, will come in as a key swing trade support zone but so far not out the woods yet really need to see some stronger price action on the daily but so far, the four-hour chart looking okay with potential swing trade opportunities as long as Bitcoin stays above this bottom in cloud chart support level. So far, so good for Bitcoin on the four-hour. Need to see a better price action on the daily and the hourly. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.